Hi, this is Oli and welcome back to a brand new episode of um, my airbrush stencil tutorials and how to work with them in uh, real time. Um, today I'm doing the hangman picture, so they have three different uh, skeletons. Uh, each skeleton has a height of like 11 centimeters. So right now I'm working on an A4 paper, which is like 30 by 21. And I'm using black, uh, white as opaque, and then I'll do use uh, help, uh, light blue and a light brown. So I start with the, the each stencil is in the three steps. So I have the black background. I use a light gray. Um, it's like the opaque white with less opacity, and then a full white. And I repeat this. So I, I paint every you know, each of the three skeletons. So light white, and then full white. and then a little bit of a uh, light brown. And with the last one, so I put the uh, cover stencils with a little bit of uh, spray glue on the surface so I can, um, I can see how the positioning will look like. And here again, light white, full white, and then light brown. So now I have a little um, uh, cut because I put uh, the cover stencils of the skeletons and now doing the quick background. So this now is the uh, a graveyard. So I have like on one side there is the, the silhouette of the, the graveyard and on the other side is the, um, the drop shadow. Everything in one stencil. And then I have like uh, a branch where the skeletons will hang on later. And I'm using the opaque white to uh, do a little bit of white for the background. And there you have the branch. And um, I also have in this set um, like a silhouette of uh, a cloud so I'm just using the the black of the, the of the background to to make a darker cloud, so that the light is behind the clouds. Doing some little droplets with reduced air, and now I'm using the light blue. can also remove the uh, graveyard stencil to do this because it's a transparent blue only the uh, white areas are affected by this. Now I'm using the uh, cover stencil for the branch again to do some some uh, lighting behind the branch and I'm doing some white for the horizon behind the graveyard. And there you have like um, a quick and cool effect. Remove the cover stencils from the skeletons. And now I have to do is I'm, I'm doing some highlights on the skeletons with the last stencil with the full white, but not everything, just a few parts. So 
maybe um, I'm doing some some highlight in the rib cage and on the skull. Do this on every every skeleton. So just a few spots. And the last one. Now I have um, two uh, options for the uh, rope of the hangman ends. So I have one for the branch. So this is like wrapped around the branch. For this I have, it's also a three part sensor. I'm using just two. And uh, then I have a straight line of rope where I can connect both parts. So, and for the uh, straight rope and the wrapped around, I have um, a gray and a white, a highlight white as well. I'm just using the gray now. So this is now for the wrapped around part and now the straight line and there we have like cool amazing details on this and there you have the uh, hangman skeletons just doing some uh, stars and then it's finished if you like the video, you can subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get uh, a notification if a new video is out. And thank you for watching. Bye.